What is going on? And good morning, guys. We are back here with another video. It's Monday morning, and yep, well, you know, she's about to go bye bye. We're going to take her to my buddy's shop here, Ramona. As you guys know, we're going to get it re geared front and rear. He's going to get it done for me because I have never in my life re geared a truck before, and I don't want to try it on my truck or be the dummy for it. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. We'll go there every couple of days, check it out. He said he'll probably have it done by Thursday for me. Um, he's slam busy, but he's gonna take my truck in to kind of work on it in between cars uh, Just to get it done for me and uh, you know, we'll go to a shop check it out I haven't seen the shop either. He used to be in El Cajon a lot closer to my house now He's way out in Ramona. It's I don't know. I think 45 minutes away from me. So uh, I want to go check out the shop I've never seen it before and if you guys have never seen it. Uh, well, let's go and check it out. Okay, what I want to do right now is see at what uh, speeds, whatever speed I'm at, I want to see the RPM and then compare it to when we re-gear. So as of right now, we are doing, here I'll go 65 and we'll compare fuel mileage also. Right now I'm getting almost 15 miles to the gallon. Now I'm going to set, I'm going to turn the cruise control on here. There you go. Okay, so. Okay, cruise control is set to 65 miles an hour. So we are doing 65 miles an hour at about, just at about 1500 RPMs. And we are on flat ground right now. No uphill, no downhill, nothing. So 65, 1500. Now let's go to 70. There we go here. EGTs are climbing a little bit, not bad. All right, they're dropping now. So we're doing 70, I would say at about 1700 RPM. We re-gear the thing. We're gonna compare it again and see what those numbers are at if they change and uh, if I feel any more torque. Now when I climb this hill, the 67, I will show you guys the problem that I'm having with this truck. All right guys, so this is the hill right here to go up to 67. It's currently in sixth gear. See that number at the top with the lock? That's letting me know that the torque converter is locked. So we're going up at sixth gear. My foot is about halfway in the throttle. Now you see these EGTs. They are above 1200. And look, the truck is just dying right now. It's probably gonna shift. There it goes. It just went to fifth right now and lock the, the torque converter. And it is going, hold on, I don't wanna hit this truck over here. So my foot is, oh, I just checked to see how much I was in. So I was, I'm in it at about 75% right now with my foot and we're at 60, I don't know, 62 right now. My EGTs are through the roof, look at that, almost 1400. That's ridiculous. Now, when I go into fifth, I can let off a little bit. Look at my EGTs. Dropping dramatically. Temperature's even dropping. And I can still, got plenty of power. EGTs are still 900. Let me get her on this truck. And two, little, about about two is my sweet spot. Yeah, I can get it and it will go, no problem. EGT stay at about 11, 1,000 to 1,100, still in fourth gear. So with me, fourth gear and at about two to 22 is a sweet spot for this truck right now, which I think that's kind of uh, ridiculous. And that's why I've chosen to re-gear this truck. Hopefully it's going to fix that problem. All right, guys, we have finally arrived here to my buddy Chris's place. Man, I gotta say, his new place is far from my house. I've never seen it, so let's, uh, let's go see if he'll give us a tour, see if he's even here at least. All right, guys, we have found Chris. He's here. I thought he'd be driving around, you know, just wasting time like he usually does around here, but he's going to uh, confirm the parts right now, make sure uh, I got everything. And like I said guys, you guys are probably wondering why I'm bringing it to him because you know I hate people working on my truck But I don't know anything about gearing and I'm not going to use my truck as a first-time use This guy has pretty much been doing it forever his whole life 
any major major stuff that gets done on my truck uh, Chris will do or he'll help me do it, or come to my house and do it, whatever it is But he's pretty much the only one that has touched my truck and nobody else will ever touch this truck Man those Fords are loud <laughs> Gosh yeah. All right guys, so Chris is gonna give me a tour of the place because this is my first time here Like I told you guys he's out in like the middle of nowhere compared to where I live and I have never been here. It's my first time. I usually went to his other shop in El Cajon, which was, you know, about 15 minutes away from my house. Now, here he is out here in Ramona, working on the big boy stuff. Wow, what are you doing to that tractor? Uh, swing motor. Nice, nice. So does this place have more room than your old shop or no? Yeah, it's all split up. It is all split up. Behind those trees. All the way over there, you yeah. on that too? Yeah. Wow. It's like a whole Dang, there we go, the old, the old ram right there with the stackers on it. Here we go, here we go. Woo! Telling you guys, if you guys need any work, any big, big work like this, give him a call. I'll put his link down in the description and his phone number in the description. He does all this big, crazy stuff. I don't, I don't pull motors and do anything like that with these diesels. He's the man right here that's going to do it all for you guys. Where's my buddy Bob at? Huh? He went to lunch. Went to lunch? Oh. It's lunchtime. Oh, yeah, it is lunchtime. Okay. Oh, I see you moved your uh, personal Duramax crate finally back over here. Yeah. Are you ever going to finish that car? Where is it? It's at my house. Oh, you took that thing home? Yeah. So, guys, Chris is building a... What do you? What, what is that thing? You're going to build pretty much a... Javelin with Duramax in it. Duramax in it. This thing is supposed to be fast. He's been building it for like, I don't know, what, five years now? Yeah, three. Three years. He's on his three-year period. Hopefully, he gets it done, you know, within the 10-year period, but he's so busy and he's got so much stuff to do. I don't know if he's going to get it done. You got big boy stuff right here. Where's your new truck? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, there So this is his brand new truck, guys, he just got. I tried to tell him, you know, don't buy the Ford. But, you know, he, he went with the Ford. This is his uh, mobile truck. He also is mobile. This thing is crazy. It's got cranes, welders, tools. I mean, everything. Whatever you guys can think of, this truck has. And he's put about, I want to say, 300000 in accessories and lights and just all the good stuff in this thing i mean this right here eventually i want to build me one of these trucks just to have just because it's so badass but obviously not a ford what do you guys think should i just get rid of the uh duramax the lml and stick this thing in there what happened with this the block is cracked on it yeah through a rod nice holy crap what is this that 8.9 liter or something 15 liter holy crap what is this out of a peterbilt and there you go, guys. Look at that. If you want to see the engine of a Peterbilt, here you go. I've never seen this before, but I used to when he was uh, close to my house, just come down to his shop just to check out all the crazy stuff that he's got because, I mean, this is pretty amazing to see here. And as you guys know, you know, this stuff, uh, not a lot of shops will do this, nor will they touch this type of work. Nice door. Just the office. Nice. Right. This is Chris's office where he sits right here and relaxes all day. Oh, nice. Goes right into the shop. Thanks. So, how many bays do you have here? I don't even know. All over the place. Yeah, it's just one ginormous bay, basically. Spare engines. Tranny. Little spare engines, tranny. Yeah, I think, I think I might change the tranny in my truck. I don't know. Man, we got a sandblaster and everything. Press, yeah. That's badass. Press. Well, here you go, guys. Construction someday. Oh, this is gonna be nice. So I get all wired and machine set up. Yeah, this is way bigger than your other shop. Oh, here you go, guys. So this is the guy right here that got me into uh, welding and Miller and all that stuff. I don't know any of this stuff before I pretty much met this guy. And I met him a while ago, but once he built a bunch of brackets for me. And pretty much anything custom he built, and I see, you know what, I gotta get into this, you know, welding and plasma cutting and all that, and it's pretty much his fault, so you guys can put the blame on him. All right, how can we get this thing on my truck right here? What What is this, like a 10 inch? 
what do you guys think? Should I stick this 10-inch uh, stacker that he built where well, you board or something? Or are you actually putting that on something? No, I was going to make a mailbox out of it or something. A mailbox. All right, there you go, guys. So, so if you guys want a 10-inch stacker mailbox or on your truck, uh, contact Chris. He'll make it for you guys. I think that's a big, like, wire wheel brush. What the hell is that? A wire wheel brush? Oh, it's okay for the sweeper. I was going to say, damn, how big is a drill that thing's going to go on? <laughs> All right, guys, so Chris is giving me a ride now back to, uh, you know, normal land where everybody, where there's population and people, actually. Um, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys, so if you guys are interested in re-gearing or do any, anything like that and you have a deleted truck, you got to remember it's got to be retuned and recalibrated because when you guys are tuning these trucks, they will be tuned for your 373 gears or 410 gears, whatever, your Duramax, your Dodge, your Ford, whatever you have. So my truck uh, is going to be retuned also because it was set for the 373 gearing. So once he changes all this, I uh, will do a video for you guys on how to pretty much re, I wouldn't say calibrate it. All I got to do is just retune it, plug in my EFI Live or Easy Link, whatever you guys have in there and get it retuned. All right, guys, so I finally made it here to uh, my cousin's house, Mr. Uh, Detail over there. You guys remember him, hey. Genesis Detailing over there. He's uh, detailing a uh, BMW over here. Oh, fancy, oh. fancy. Look at that. Break my wallet. No, big money waster. Big money waster? Yeah, BMW. Okay, or break my wallet. Clearly, this guy uh, has hit some curbs over here he's had a couple kirby's over here looking good what do you think george george approved pretty good, pretty good. all right thank you george that's our buddy george over there he's uh here just to get some stuff done you know so there you go guys you know you guys saw it you guys saw chris's shop the truck is gone i know i'm so sad i'm gonna miss her she he said he'll be done i think thursday i dropped it off a little late to him i was supposed to be here this morning but didn't have time so He's going to start on it tomorrow. He said hopefully by Thursday, uh, Friday, he'll have it done. And if he's got it all taken apart by tomorrow, I'll, if I have time, I'll head to his shop tomorrow and show you guys uh, pretty much what it looks like in that rerun and uh, see, you know, hopefully got the majority of it done. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to click subscribe. Go ahead. Tell him bye. Peace. I don't know. I got to do that again. No, no. Yeah, that's, that's you, you got to peace with the camera. Come on. What? Come on. We got all day. Peace. No, but you got... Uh, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. yeah.